My name is Joe. You found yourself once again at the Joe is Hungry channel, freshly buttered, served hot and crispy, right here within the city limits of Fairmount, Georgia. Once again, it's time for the ever-present birthday shout-outs. Declan, Niels, Hattie, and Rhythm, Jillian, Kyle, Josh, and Sam, Rose, Vincent, Jasmine, and Shannon, Thomas, Chloe, Landry, and Caleb. I want to wish a very special Joe is Hungry birthday shout-out to each and every one of you. Last week we went to Raising Cane's to try something new to let everybody know that we do indeed give sevens and eights and maybe even give Shadow Joe a break. If you haven't seen the video, it really didn't go as planned. Even though the chicken fingers are fine and fresh cooked, the Texas toast was under buttered and limp and the french fries they were undercooked and soggy. I got a little flack from the Caniacs. They told me to get my fries cooked extra crispy or double butter my toast. The big question to me is, why do I have to ask to have my fries not undercooked and request that my toast not be under buttered and limp? Just make it right the first time. Doesn't that make sense? I mean, we're not cooking filet mignon here. I also got several comments telling me to go to Guthrie's. At this point in time, I'd actually never heard of them. And according to the comments, they tell me Cane's ripped off their menu. And Guthrie's food is just a whole lot better. They prep it better and it tastes better. A few days after posting that video, imagine my reaction when a friend of mine texted me some photos of some chicken fingers. Shout out to Leah. Apparently she just bought them at a brand new Guthrie's right up the road in Cartersville. I didn't even know anything about it. And I'm telling you, the photos look pretty promising, especially after doing the Raising Cane's video. Well, if you don't already know, Guthrie's was the first place to have an all chicken finger menu and they opened way back in 1965. Guthrie's is a privately owned and operated franchise operation with over 49 locations in nine states. States. I have those listed in the description below. When I started looking at Guthrie's menu online, I was a little bit surprised at the similarity. In my opinion, Kane's menu looks like a forged book report where they changed the words around a little bit in a failed attempt to fool the teacher. Some of you Kaniacs out there may not like this. You may disagree. If you do, leave it in the comments below. As I said, the menus are almost exactly the same. They have several versions of combo meals. I have on the screen and in the description below. As a note, the menu varies slightly from Guthrie's from one location to the other. Some have three combos listed, others have four, depending on how many fingers. Some include drinks in the price, others don't. It makes it really confusing. You can also get finger buckets and family meals. I have those listed in the description below. Like Kings, they only have five sides, which include Texas toast, chicken fingers, french fries, coleslaw, and Guthrie's special dipping sauce. And in reality, that's really the entire menu. They definitely keep it simple. Today we're going to review Guthrie's Three Finger Snack, adding toast and omitting the drink. My modified version of the Guthrie Snack will set you back $8.58. Kane's Three Finger Combo last week went for $8.43. That only leaves us 15 cents apart. This way it will be exactly like Raising Kane's Three Finger Combo that we reviewed just last week. And now we can have a little bit of Joe's Hungry comparison action on. So now with the nutritional information, Guthrie's Three Finger Snack will pummel your diet with 970 calories. If you add the Texas Toast, it'll bring it up to a staggering 1,110 calories. Dwarf and Cane's Small by comparison, 850 calories. I have the full nutritional information on the screen and much more in the description below. Guthrie's fails to provide serving weights in their nutritional information. That is very unfortunate, but not a deal breaker today because later in the video, we're gonna compare the weights when we do the Joe's Hungry Weight test, calculate the actual real out the door fast food price per ounce. So now it's time to hope for the best, aim for the sky, get some chicken finger action going on and roll the drive through at Guthrie's in Cartersville, Georgia. It's a great day at Guthrie's. Please order when you're ready. Can I get three three finger snacks minus the drinks and then add three Texas toast and add a couple uh, coleslaws. All right, anything else? No, that would be all I need. 3760 at the window. Thank you, my dear. Doesn't matter. 
Oh, this is yours too. Oh yeah, God, I'd be in me. trouble without that. <laughs> All right. Okay. I've got my chicken fingers. Let's pull off to the side and do the Joe is Hungry temperature test. Finger snack number one is 199.9 degrees Fahrenheit. Finger snack number two is 202.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Finger snack number three is 194.4 degrees Fahrenheit. You know I like my temperatures at 140 degrees or above. Hotter, of course, is always better. And today, Guthrie's gets it because they passed with flying colors. The Joe is hungry. Temperature test. Now it's time to get down and dirty. Take a closer look. Break out the knives. Fire up the scales. Head back to the studios and do the one and only Joe is hungry weight test. And as usual, we take off for the packaging to keep things right. In other words, we set the chair on the scales. Snack plus toast number one weighs in at 12.85 ounces or 364 grams. Snack plus toast number two weighs in at 11.70 ounces or 332 grams. Snack plus toast number three weighs in at 11.95 ounces or 339 grams. Well, the weights are all pretty close today. They fall well within parameters. So Guthrie's, today you pass the Joe is Hungry consistency weight test. Unfortunately, Guthrie's doesn't post any serving weights and actually I was doing pretty good just navigating and compiling the nutritional information. Guthrie's, you might need to work on that a little bit. However, Cane's had an average weight of 11.08 ounces and they came out to 76 cents an ounce. Guthrie's, on the other hand, they had an average weight of 12.17 ounces and they came out with a little bit better 71 cents an ounce so with that out of the way now it's time to do the one and only the Joe is hungry big reveal This is what the snack looks like with toast added. This is what it's supposed to look like. This is a snack without the toast, and this is what it's supposed to look like. We've seen how much it was, and we saw what it looks like. I'm sorry about adding the toast. I maybe it threw you off a little bit, but I wanted to do a fairly accurate comparison to Raising Cane since I just did it last week. As far as what it looks like, in my opinion, it's pretty close to its advertised photo, and believe me, this looks a little bit better than what Raising Cane's gave me last week. But there's really only one more test to do, and that would be the one and only, the Joe is Hungry Bite Test. So it is Bite Test Engage. Chicken tenders were crispy, crunchy, cooked order, and even well seasoned. Likewise, the fries were fresh, golden brown, and they were lightly seasoned. The Texas toast was buttery, golden brown, and crispy. Canes, are you taking notes? Because this is how it's done. The dipping sauce is tangy, rich, and kind of has a Thousand Island vibe. Maybe not quite as sweet as Kane's. Because Shadow Joe's opinion weighs very heavily on the score, we're gonna look backwards instead of forwards and do the Joe is Hungry sneak -a doodle Bite. sneak -a doodle Bite number one, Texas Toast. Oh yeah, buttery, crisp. sneak -a doodle Bite number two, French fries. Mm. Crispy, cooked golden brown. sneak -a doodle Bite chicken strip number three. Thank you. 
Hey, hey boss. We need a trim there. Really? You think so? Makes an appointment and I'll go with you. On it, I'll get it done. On with this. It is crispy, crunchy, hot, made to order, juicy. Let's move on with this video. Well, so far so good. Now it's time to give this thing a score. If you don't know my scale, my scale is one to 10, nine being the best. Anything above nine is a once lifetime experience and almost never achieved. Five and down is that slippery slope to the pitch and depths of fast food hell. So let's go ahead and give this the number that it truly deserves. As far as comparing them to Raising Cane's, Guthrie's breading is a little bit crispier. They are slightly better seasoned. They are both definitely cooked to order. That's obvious. As far as the Texas toast and the fries, Guthrie's just absolutely kicks it out of the park. I'm actually sort of embarrassed for Cane's. Well, it just goes to show, and in my opinion, I say that so Cane's won't sue me, a carbon copy is never quite as good as the original. And today, that holds true. Guthrie's, the only issue I'm having with you is your menu needs to be consistent from restaurant to restaurant. Your nutritional information is sort of a mess and very difficult to navigate, and you don't have serving weights. However, you got the food right. Everything is on point. Canes, are you taking notes? You should be. So Guthrie's, you check most of the boxes. So today, I'm gonna have to go 7.9, that is my number. This is my review and hopefully I will see you in the next video.